Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel at Trogs and today I got a sweet video, at least I think it's sweet, but it's talking about a concept of new underwater locations in Sea of Thieves that I think most people would appreciate because I know this is something that I would be super hyped for if this was ever implemented into the game. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been watching the videos, all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Uh, the channel is growing so fast, we're almost a 3k, so thank you guys so much for the support, I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys are in my Discord, I'm doing Plunder Pass giveaways over there, and make sure you show up to my live streams whenever I do them on YouTube, I give away Plunder Passes there as well. But that's enough about that, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the concept for this video is basically adding new underwater locations in Sea of Thieves. I don't know about you guys, but underwater locations have always been my favorite feature in most video games. I've always been drawn to aquatic areas, I've always loved aquariums growing up, I still do, I love sea life and all those things. And Sea of Thieves, it just feels so lacking in that department, especially because it's a game that's 95% water, I would say, give or take, so very disappointing. There are some underwater locations you can go to, of course, you know, you have your sunken vessels that you can find for loot and supplies. There are a few secret locations underwater, which I don't want to get into anything about spoilers, but some islands have secret underwater caverns that you can find uh, for a little surprise at the end of it. And then, of course, some of the tall tales have some sweet underwater locations where you're swimming around. But for the most part, outside of those few locations and those tall tales, if you go underwater in Sea of Thieves, yes, it's beautiful, the water is really well designed, the way the light rays hit looks really awesome, but you're not going to be finding a whole lot of sunken treasure, there's not going to be a whole lot to explore, there's not going to be a whole lot to find. Uh, as far as the uh, sea life goes, you're going to maybe see a couple schools of fish, and maybe a shark will come and attack you, uh, but that's really about it. Uh, and then, of course, if you're being attacked by a Megalodon, sure, you'll see that when you're in the middle of the sea. But when you're at an actual I island, there's not much for sea life. In terms of sunken treasure, you know, because it's a pirate's game, right? Pirates like treasure. And so you think sunken treasure would be a huge part of this. But if you go swimming around outposts, um, you probably won't find anything. If it's like an island, uh, a random island that's not an outpost, you might find a couple crates, maybe a skull, something in the water there, shining. But outside of that, you're not going to find any secret expensive items, you're not going to find anything too crazy. And of course, nowadays you can't even explore that much without getting attacked by sirens, and so the whole underwater exploration thing in this game, it's not really a thing. Um, I think the best underwater exploration that we got, in my opinion, was with the new Tall Tales, and it was really well done. I think it was Tall Tale 2, where, spoiler alert, I don't know who hasn't done this Tall Tale yet, you're missing out. But again, I'll be talking about it here. You're like diving way far under the water. You're diving so far under the water that when you look up and you see the surface of the water, you know, thousands of feet above you, when you see the bottom of your ship, if you're on a galleon, it looks like a rowboat. And it's really cool. It's the best underwater exploration we got. Now, of course, that is a tall tale, uh, which is fine. I think that's totally awesome that it's tall tale specific. But imagine if you got that kind of underwater exploration in the normal game. Uh, being able to dive that far, being able to find caverns. Um, as you're going through these underwater caverns, creatures come out and attack you. I think that stuff would be super awesome to have added to the game. I don't know if I said it before or not, but the water is phenomenally beautiful. Like, just swimming around in this game brings me enjoyment. Not that it's fun. But that, it's simply relaxing and it's beautiful. It is a pleasure to the eye to look at. And so I truly enjoy it, which is why I really, really hope we get more of that kind of stuff. Like I said, Tall Tale 2 actually did a really good job of implementing some more water life into the game. But that's just a Tall Tale. I would love to see that in Adventure Mode. Something as simple as adding new sea life. Uh, imagine like giant eels going through, uh, maybe like a rare monster that you could find. What if there's like some kind of a Loch Ness monster that had a really rare spawn rate? Uh, much like it would be getting Kraken, except for this is an exploration monster where you just happen to find it. It's somewhere in the Sea of Thieves and as you're swimming along you might find it. Something like that that really rewards you for 
uh, being in the water for exploration because right now really the most things I don't want to give any spoilers away to you who haven't explored the entire map underwater because there are some outpost there are some islands that have underwater secrets and I don't want to spoil those but they're very few and far between so it would be really cool to add more of that kind of stuff that wasn't necessarily associated with specific achievements or tall tales, if you will. I mean, something as simple as this, if I'm gonna, I wanna show a clip from one of my favorite games growing up, which was uh, Super Mario 64. And one of the, my, my favorite map of the whole game was this underwater location that you get to. And while it's very, very simplistic, the game's very outdated. It was made in 1996. But the sea life, it really drew you in, like these giant eels that would come out, the sunken vessel that you could go and find, and there would be treasure inside of it, and a little puzzle that you had to solve, all while being enchanted by this beautiful music. And it just drew you in, it was super exciting. As you're like going through, you don't know what you're gonna find, and it was just mesmerizing, it was really awesome. And there's a lot of games that implement sea life or ocean life or just aquarium based portions of their games that are really done well. And those are games that aren't water based. Whereas Sea of Thieves, like I said, 90 to 95% of the game is water. I guess there could be an argument that it's more of a ship battling game and so 90% of the game is actually on your ship even though you're always on the water. Even with that being said, I think there could be more in the water. I mean, this is a water based game. I understand that the servers are overloaded. They can only do so much and I don't know to what extent. I really don't. I don't work for them. I don't know what their server issues are. I've just heard these rumors that they can only do so much and so like even things were like People requested whales or, or like dolphins that could go swimming along your ship, things like that. People were saying that that would be enough to overload the servers, which I, I'm honestly kind of surprised to hear that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's accurate or if it's not. It's just what I've heard. But just imagine that. Imagine you're sailing and all of a sudden a whale pulls up next to you or dolphins start swimming or fish start jumping out of the water. It just like the less wildlife you have in a game where you're just on the water for 90% of the time, the less immersive it becomes. And of course, a lot of people probably don't care about that kind of stuff. They probably just want to be fighting other ships. They want more combat. But to me, like, man, you put some beautiful scenery in there, add some beautiful wildlife and interactions and some cool exploration. And man, I will be super hooked. And I think games that add that kind of exploration, that kind of wildlife and scenery and things that you just want to keep finding the next new thing. I think that makes a game very successful. And Sea of Thieves has the potential. They've already got the beautiful sunrise, the sunset, the water looks amazing. The way the sun shines through the water as you're swimming looks amazing. All they need to do is just simply add some more sea life, add some more secrets to find, maybe special treasure or caverns or secret bosses that you can find underwater. And honestly, I think that would make a world of difference for this game. Anyways, guys, that's really all I got. I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on adding sea life and new underwater locations to this game. I think it would really benefit it. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know if you guys disagree. Maybe I'm in the wrong here, but just let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and I will get back to every single one of you who leaves me a comment. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one. But until then, take care.